Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. Today is Friday, July 9th, 2010. So let's have a look at the markets. Start off looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average six-month chart. Each candlestick is one day, and I could go off on this chart for a month. I mean, this is horrible. All right, we got... We've been waiting for a, a really nice short opportunity. We may, we've been waiting for it to get back up here. Uh, the slow stock should get back up there where we can short with uh, quite ease like we did back here. All right, we told you before this happened that once it got up here, it'd be hitting that glass ceiling time to just short it. Uh, we're waiting for the same thing here, but it doesn't have to actually get up there. The slow stock does not have to hit the 80 line before she rolls over. And there's potential that that will not happen. Uh, you need to note that you've got one two three four consecutive days to the upside that's not above average but for this chart uh, i believe six is the high end one two three four five six yes one two three four five six yes six is the high end so if you hit six or seven it's you know just a matter of time before you roll over so look for the rollover next week which by the way starts second uh, quarter earnings we have alcoa on monday reporting earnings no one's expecting anything good from them we also have Google next week. No one's expecting anything good from them. They've been underperforming uh, consistently. So uh, right off the bat, they're not going to get any, any bulls aren't going to get any uh, extra help, so to speak. Yes, they could, you know, surprise to the upside, but a surprise to the upside would not necessarily uh, be enough to, you know, never mind. You, you, you can go to my website at perfectstockler.com, 100% free. I wrote a whole article on second quarter earnings and how it's going to affect the market. It's not a good thing, okay? So... We've got that, and we're coming up here to these res resistance lines we talked about yesterday. We've got 11 different resistance le levels at this uh, this point, and uh, that's all negative. It's all bearish. It's going to put a, a ceiling on bulls and give bears plenty of strength, okay? At the same time, there's a hidden uh, resistance level here that you we didn't point out yesterday. We've pointed out before, but we've got a lot of guys who are brand spanking new following us, so I want to go over it again. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the volume right quick. Move on down there. Okay, smart money. They've got a lot of money, so when they move, you can spot them. All right, they uh, they show up on the volume right there. Okay, you can see what they're doing. All right, bunch of shorters right there. Okay, yeah, they're bearish. All right, you'll notice the buying is only retail, very weak. Like today's volume was like embarrassingly weak. It's like the lowest we've seen in six months. So yeah, it's horrendous. And uh, Every time that you have that bounce to the upside like you have here, okay, they don't last when they're low volume like that. So you don't, you know, you don't think anything of them. You don't trust them, all right? Exact same setup now. One more thing you need to note about this volume is where it's happening on the chart, at what price level, okay? You'll notice right here, okay, and here, strong sell volume. Right here, I'll go from this side, and here, strong sell volume, okay? And that correlates if you draw a line from there to close Ta -da! it's the same level what do you know about that huh okay so we've got a couple more days of upside we're going to hit resistance at this level here the 50 day the 200 day and that level at which smart money is confidently shorting okay so yeah you i think you know what i'll be doing next week pretty simple spot there quick look at the gold chart we do have potential here note the oversold condition the candlesticks are showing uh support levels with the uh, hammer formations and a uh, confirmation today with a continuation signal to the upside so yes there is a trade there i would trade it to about there that uh, middle bollinger band line that's where i would trade it to okay very simple if you want to do that where my stop i put the stop let me get rid of those put the stop right there okay uh, just below this uh, candlestick formation right below that hammer they're very low 11, uh, 1,185, I put it at 1,184, right there, okay? Go along right there, trade it to right there, everybody's happy. Here we have the Hang Seng Index. We do have potential for this guy to keep moving higher. You'll notice he's right there, okay? Starting to make his uh, higher lows right here, here, and here, right? So there is potential there for the bounce to the upside, but she is in an overall downtrend, and the overall downtrend says that will stay in effect. This is just a bounce, okay? So keep watching that but I wouldn't be shorting the Hang Seng just yet the FTSE the Financial Times index in London no offense to our buddies in the UK there but come on I mean they know too and this is a ridiculous uh, bounce to the move 
move to the upside. You've got to short that. You've got four days to the upside. Uh, six is, or I believe it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, they changed it to seven since last couple weeks ago. So seven would be your high end. Uh, anything at that point or higher is an easy short. You've had four to the upside. You know, if you get a couple more days, it's an easy short. Um, if you don't, if she starts rolling over sooner than that, I would just jump on that and start shorting it as well. It's a Again, an easy short. We all know that's uh, where the, the main news is focused right now on their financial issues. Not like we don't have any of our own in the U.S., but uh, this is just an easy short right now. And obviously, in a major downtrend, notice the, the bounce here, you know, unsustainable, makes a new low, which is this one. Okay, so she's in a very clearly defined a downtrend. The big bad NASDAQ. Okay, six-month chart. Each candlestick is a day. Uh, we don't have anything good to say about this other than she's filling this gap right here. If you're a bull, that's what you're uh, looking for, uh, the gap fill. So it takes you to about this level, and then you're toast because you're going to have that resistance right here, this resistance right here. We've talked about this already. And you note, hmm, that's like three guys in a basement buying stock. I mean, that's, that's horrible volume. Again, Note, it's the weakest we've seen in six months. The S&P 500, six-month chart, each candlestick a day, same basic conditions. I've had one, two, three, maybe four days to the upside here. And, uh, yeah, so be watching for her to peak out to next week sometime. And the main thing to note here is right here. Uh, we've talked about this on the other charts, but uh, one analyst today talked about this uh, on his blog. He was talking about how in the past ten years, it has signaled a bearish crossover nine times, this being the ninth time. So not counting this one because we don't know what's going to happen here. But the last eight times, six of those have preceded major sell-offs. So that gives it a 75% accuracy in the past 10 years. So whenever this happens, when the, the blue line, the 50-day moving average, crosses below the red line, the 200-day moving average, it's very bearish and it, it signals a, a big move to the downside. It's, it's pending. Um, you know, just that one indicator alone is, has 75% accuracy. So, you know, I... I keep saying it over and over again, but uh, the bulls have all the odds. I mean, I'm sorry, all the bears have all the odds stacked in their favor, and the bulls are betting against the house right here, so uh, they're not going to win. One more item to note on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. I want to point out yesterday's close and today's close, the higher close. Yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. If you, like we talk about, whenever you do analysis on the overall markets, you want to confirm it with the VIX. Let's have a look at the VIX. You'll note the VIX right here is showing there is no uh, higher, I mean, there's no lower low on the VIX. That's showing that there's a more uh, strength in favor of bears building than is actually being reflected on the Dow Jones Industrial Average chart. Someone who wanted to make a case for the uh, PPT, the Plunge Protection uh, Team, this might be your evidence. Okay, That's about the, the best uh, argument I've ever seen for it. So, uh, yeah, you might want to be watching your ETFs that, that track the VIX for a move to the upside. If you're bullish, the VIX, you're bearish the overall markets. Remember, the VIX runs the, the inverse of the overall markets. So, uh, you've got the gap up here. The exact same setup we've seen already back here. We had the gap that had to fill, pull back, hammer formations. You start buying, she moves lower, and then bounce up here to fill the gap. Exact same situation right here. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Start getting hammer formations, uh, tightening up on the size of the daily activity. Finding support of the 200 day and the lower Bollinger Band makes sense to me. If you've not been to our free website at perfectstockalert.com, 100% free. All we ask in return is you refer a friend, and you guys have been doing that. Speaking of that, yesterday we broke every traffic record we have on our website. That's because you guys have been sharing our videos online, referring your friends. You guys have been supporting us in spades. So thank you very much. I'm going to continue to work my tail off for you guys. And this weekend, we're bringing out some new stuff as well. Starting on Monday, we're going into a new uh, a week of, in our live trading course. And every week, we, we analyze a different technique and we use it all week. Um, next week, we're going to be doing some really cool stuff. We're going to show our users how to spot scalp opp opportunities and basically how to make money just to take people's money left and right. And it's a really easy opportunity and uh, they're actually quite effective. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, I'll see you all there Monday morning. Quick looky-loo at the disclaimer. God bless. Enjoy your weekend. Take care. And I'll see you all Monday.